Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the module MOOC AI. MOOC AI allows you as the GM to automate some of the less important combatants in a D&D &D combat, such as your thugs, your bandits, or in this case, your goblins. I'll be showing off how this works, but to start off, let's take a quick look at the settings that we have available. So in the settings, MOOC AI is probably set up the way that you would like it to be in that it uses vision from the tokens that they'll only attack creatures if they can see them. It will allow mooks, the goblins, to explore until they find something to attack. They may use both melee attacks as well as ranged attacks, and you can decide what the radius is on the melee attack and the ranged weapon attack right here. With the current version of Mook AI, it will only work for the enemies. It will not work for your allies to attack the enemies. For example, not uh, any summons that you create or any companion NPCs. So just keep that in mind when you're using this program. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and test and see how this works. Right now in my combat, I have four goblins to the north, and I have two goblins to the south, and these goblins should not be able to see the two PCs. So I will start off as always with adding them to the combat order. And then immediately after I add all of them to the combat order, let's go ahead and skip ahead to our initiative. Combat has started, initiative has been rolled, and we can see that there is a goblin at the top of our initiative. Now rather than clicking the goblin and taking over, I am just going to press G on my keyboard and let Mook AI take over. Mook AI shows me where the goblin is going to go and who it is going to attack. I can either approve this or I can reject. I'm going to go ahead and approve. And taking a roll, I can see they made an attack, rolled with a 7, and it missed. Next up on the initiative is Merrick. I'm going to go ahead and skip the PC for now. And we have our next goblin, who is going to attack Merrick again. Moves forward, makes an attack and it misses as well. And the way that I have my settings configured right now, as soon as they take a turn, they will end their turn. Now this one down here doesn't know where the PCs are right now, so they are just going to move around the map until they can see a PC, and as soon as they spot one, they can then make an attack. So they have spotted the PC to the south, and they are going to now attack with a short bow. As a quick note, in order for this to work, for them to move when they don't know where they are, you do need to set the vision, which is right here, checking the box has vision. But with that, we'll go ahead and move on now to our next goblin, who is going to move forward and attack Merrick. So all of this is done just by pressing G on the keyboard when it is the goblin's turn. Or when it's whenever a mook's turn, whether that's bandit, thug, or whatever you want it to be. Probably don't use this though for your, your big bad evils, your big villains. And then the last one is going to move forward until they can spot someone just creeping forward. And they'll make an attack and they hit as well and our PC is down. So pretty simple. You can see how you can use this. Let's take one final look at the settings before we close out. So what I set Mook Initiative to do is creep, which will let them move forward towards where the players are. Assuming they know where the players are, you can decide whether they have that knowledge or not. All right, that is all we're going to cover today. If you have any questions or comments, though, please leave them down below. And I hope you can use this in your own game. Thanks, everyone.